Welcome everybody to another edition of CWR TV. Right there you saw Chris Iron still climbing that ladder, facing off against Crossworthy tonight. We also have Woody the Clown versus the main event, Adam McCarley. And right there you see it, a big matchup, the Fallen against the Mexus. And here we go, kicking off CWR TV with a huge main event caliber match. Yeah, we have Chris Iron trying to get back into that title picture. The uh, stipulation in the last match with uh, Chambers and Iron, the little going on, that Iron did not get a title shot unless he climbed back up that ladder and he's doing so thus far. Well, ever since Chris Iron returned from that ladder match, he's been on an incredible roll, defeating everybody that steps in his way, and Chris Iron's not wasting any time in getting back in the CWR title hunt. Uh, right here is probably going to be his biggest challenge thus far. He's going to go off with the nightmare Chris Crossworthy. He is no slouch in that ring. That should be a hell of a match. I'm expecting a lot out of these two. These two have fought each other previously in the past. A little bit of history between these two. There you see him. Chris Iron. Van Faber getting, uh, getting a little over with the crowd after his uh, little feud with Chambers. Well, well, the true colors were shown of both Chris Iron oh, and oh, right man. there. Crossworthy not wasting any time going up in a big back body slam from the second rope. That's a huge move to start this match for Crossworthy. Crossworthy wanting to keep this at his pace. He's kind of, he has that fast style, but he also likes to work the submissions. As you see right there, working on the legs of Chris Iron. Well, he's got fast, flashy moves, but he's more of that slow, methodical pace person. I mean, he really can hit you from moves out of anywhere. I think the one word that, word that describes Crossworthy in the ring is intense. I'll agree with you on that statement right there, but the same can be said for one Chris Iron. Chris Iron showing his intensity there, but Crossworthy catches him and just turns him inside out with that dragon screw again, working on that leg of Chris Iron. That's a very impressive dragon screw from Crossworthy there, and you got to believe Crossworthy's also trying to work his way up, working towards a future CWR title match. I mean, this guy's on, been on quite a roll himself. Uh, he's probably one of the most underrated guys on the CWR roster. Brings the intensity every single match. He doesn't always come out on top, but he always puts up a damn good fight. It'll be very interesting to see uh, how this night progresses. We saw the last episode of CWR TV ended with the fall in Jason Zero and Ryan Chambers assaulting Big D. Will Big D be here tonight for CWR TV? I want to know why uh, why Jason Zero's here tonight. I thought last I heard he was suspended. There's no, there's no Mr. Canton here tonight. That might have something to do with it. Not able to enforce his suspension as uh, Chris Iron gets launched in the corner. Crossworthy, there was that speed that we were talking about. Just gets to full speed after one step, it seems. Oh man, Crossworthy going for a superplex here, and Chris Iron's going to have none of it. Chris Iron climbing up to the top, and Crossworthy is a long distance from him, but he's going up. Coast to coast drop kick. Chris Iron showing off his athletic ability, leaping across corner to corner from the ring. That was absolutely insane. I've never seen Chris Iron or anybody on the entire CWR roster ever pull out that maneuver. Chris Iron showing worse for wear on that move as well. I mean, a huge drop for him, but obviously the reward might have been greater than the risk there, obviously. Doing those kidney punches to the back of Crossworthy, those do not feel very good. And their oh, backbreaker to Crossworthy just yanking that neck in the back across his. Only a two count though as Crossworthy able to kick out. Well, Chris Iron's going to do everything he can to win this match and every match going forward on his way to the CWR title. This man, time and time again, has had CWR title shot and every time he's had a title shot against Ryan Chambers, Jason Zero has got involved and cost him the match. Definitely got the short end of the stick in, in that series of matches. But right now, Crossworthy reversing, turning the tide. Picking up Iron right now. 
toss them off the ropes, with the back. Oh, and a big clothesline, turning Iron inside out, going for the cover. One, two, only a two count as Crossworthy able to kick out. Well, Crossworthy should have known, just like probably me and you both knew, that there was no way that clothesline was going to keep Iron down for the three. It's definitely going to take a lot more than that. Iron, one of the most resilient guys on the CWL roster. This might do it, though. Hits him with a black flip, and this could be the end for Iron right here. One. Two. Oh, and somehow Iron kicking out of the big backflip. And who's that right there? Who the heck is Corona Joe doing out here? Corona Joe boring Chris Crossworthy to the back. Chris Crossworthy following him right now. Well, remember last week, Chris Crossworthy defeated Corona Joe one on one, and now Crossworthy's going after Corona Joe. What is going on right now? And he's getting counted out. Crossworthy is being counted out right now. And I don't think he's going to make it back. I mean, I don't. Chris, I mean, Crossworthy's obviously more focused on one Corona Joe than he is this match. That is a big mistake by Crossworthy. He had this match won. He had Iron right where he wanted him. Oh, and there it is, ladies and gentlemen. Chris Crossworthy being counted out after Corona Joe lured him into the back. Even Chris Iron looks a little confused by himself, but fortunately for him, you gotta believe Crossworthy was one move away from getting the one, two, three over Chris Iron. Iron looks a little disappointed right now, though. He's not the type of guy who wants to take a win like that. He's a fighting man. Well, in this case, a win is a win, and Chris Iron, by count out or not, has defeated Christopher Crossworthy. You see it, ladies and gentlemen, the winner of this match. And there you see the rankings. Right now, there's Crossworthy being checked off. You see he has two more opponents. Adam, the main event, McCarley, right, and then, oh, what's this here? Dude, bro, what happened last week? What are you talking about? You saw him in There was nothing that I could do about that. There's nothing you could do? I thought we had an agreement. Had an, had an agreement? Yeah. This is what you gave me. That's what you told me. I don't accept that. You don't accept that? I'd like to see you build houses and hotels without that. I think you need to hit the railroad. Hit the railroad? Okay. All right. Well, did you... Did Woody, all right, we saw Woody the Clown a few weeks ago try to pay off referee Carl Shahan, and it looked like he tried to pay him Monopoly money. <laughs> that is what it looked like. You said he, he wants him to build houses and uh, hotels with that. Well, the referee told him he should probably hit the railroad and get right out of there. Well, due to that, Mr. King has made a special guest referee for this matchup. Carl Shahan is not allowed to ref Woody the Clown's matches. Well, at least for tonight, anyway, it looks like Mr. Canton has made an executive decision to ban Carl Shahan from refereeing this Woody the Clown match. And there you see special guest referee, Captain Pete Card, Petey Kardashian. This guy even count to three? Dude, this guy can fist pump to like a thousand. I'm sure he can count to three. Yeah, I think he has someone else counting for him. Regardless, he is the ref for tonight. I don't think I've seen uh, any of the moments following the rules. We'll see how this goes. I'm curious to see how Woody the Clown and Adam McCarley react to this. Well, there you see him, Woody the Clown with that boxing glove. He's finished on numerous occasions to get over. Well, Woody the Clown, you gotta admit, he's gaining a lot of momentum here after getting off to a very rocky start here in CWR. It's really starting to pick up some steam. He definitely found his little niche here with that boxing glove. He's playing it up right now. Well, the fans obviously not taking too kindly to Woody's slight change in attitude. And what is he doing there? The, oh, man. Petey Kardashian tearing into Woody. I'm the referee. Follow my orders. Now, God, bro, good. What? Woo! Well, Woody the Clown, I mean, excuse me, Petey Kardashian laying down the law. Woody the Clown looking a little shocked right there. You can hear the music of the former protege of uh, former CWR champion Ryan, the cool guy chamber. There he is, Adam, the main event of Carly. 
Adams been on a little slump as of late. Looks, I wouldn't call it a slump before he seems like he's not focused. Ever since Ryan Chambers turned his back on him, he's kind of been unfocused in, in that squared circle there. What is Woody doing right now? McCarley not doing his signature backflip off that second rope. I think Woody's going to do it for the fans. Here he goes! That, oh, that, that was just, I'm, I'm sorry, that was just absolutely brutal. What are you talking about? That was a textbook backflip. Are you watching the same thing I'm watching right now? Uh, maybe it looks a little different on my monitor here. Well, either way, Woody the Clown getting off to a rough start with that backflip there. and We got a match. Believe it or not, there is a match that's set to take place. It's Woody the Clown versus Adam McCarley. Woody looks like he's a little better now after landing on the back of his head after that textbook backflip. Collar elbow tie up, Woody the Clown pushing McCarley back in that corner. Nice arm drag there by Woody. Woody rushing at McCarley in an arm drag of his own. Now he has that arm bar in, lets it go. Go at it. What are you Trust about the, that, the ropes on, and being in it? Well, just after judging by the first minute of this match, we're not going to see a whole lot of fair officiating from one half of the bromance, I don't think. Headlocked by Woody the Clown. In control of Adam McCarty for the time being. Turns into a very nice arm with a wrenching on that arm. Trying to dislocate the shoulder. Goes over and oh, kicking to the face with the calf. Oh, that's a very nice maneuver there by Woody the Clown. First, they seen some solid wrestling from Woody and so those antic up. I spoke a little too he soon. He did speak a little too soon. You should have known that was going to be coming. Riding McCarley like a horse in a rodeo. Now pulling on the hair. McCarley didn't like that. Arm ringer into a hammerlock right now. Woody just begging. Begging Petey. And there you see Petey, I mean, taking his good old time getting in there. Hey, he was playing to the Come crowd on, right you there. Say they know the rules. That's it, this is true. I mean, all wrestlers do know the guidelines on the rules. Whether they decide to abide by them or not is, I guess, their decision. Once again, a collar elbow going to the back of McCarley. A nice back roll up one. Two stacked up was Adam McCarley, but still able to kick out. Woody coming right back with an arm drag of his own. That was a nice two count by PD Kardashian, I must say. I mean, he got down there. He was right by where the shoulders are. He's in perfect position. I, I'm just impressed that he can actually count it, too. McCarley getting back up to his feet right now. These guys are in a little feeling out process. They've seen some fast maneuvers, but they keep circling back up. Another collar elbow into the arm ringer, trying to yank that shoulder out of the socket. And Woody the Clown is doing that to McCarley early and then kicking. Oh, and Woody got kind of fired by that kick to the gut. I think Woody's had enough of the whole technical wrestling aspect, and here we go. Oh, and there's that. Oh! Just whips him off the corner, stays right behind him, holding on to him, just a kitchen sink, flipping McCarley right over that knee. Devastating knee to the gut right there. Oh, and a solid right hand rushing at Adam McCarley, who just back body drops him over to the outside. That was insane. And there you see it again, and oh, oh dad, just a rough landing by Woody the Clown on the outside, McCarley. I mean, Woody the Clown crashed back first on the outside there, and I guess P.D. Kardashian doing what he can trying to get the action back into the ring. Oh, slamming Woody's face into the apron. The part of the ring. Throwing him in there, McCarty is. McCarty seems a little ring, more guys. focused Come in this on. match right now. Uh, showing a bit of an aggressive streak, oh, it seems. That was nice by McCarty just putting his uh, wrist, planting it into the ground, and stomping on that elbow. And it locks him in that corner, and there's those, those shoulder blocks with a backhand spring into the shoulder block. The athleticism by McCarty putting him down, possibly going for that spring. That, uh, Bring up a back kick, oh. I guess. Not really sure how to call that, except for impressive. Going for one more here. Although fans called for it, and he's going to go for it. And hits Woody once again. Go ahead and pin him now, Adam. You got this. You got this. Carly whipping Woody off the ropes there in a spinning Ooh. wheel kick. This one could be over. One, two, still a two count. Once again, Pete Kardashian looking at the shoulders, doing his best to try and be a referee here, even if he is wearing the shirt as a cape. Oh, and side effect. Woody the Clown could be done here. 
Unorthodox cover, not putting enough weight on Rudy McLeod, able to kick those legs up and kick out. Well, it's just one impressive maneuver after another from Adam McCarley. That side effect wasn't able to keep him down, and ooh, nice knee to the midsection there. That's probably Rudy's strongest suit, though, is, uh, or his skill. He's one of the most durable, if not the most durable guy in CW4. He doesn't usually get much offense. He's getting a little more in this match than we usually see. But he's always able to kick out of the big maneuvers by his uh, opponents. He's very resilient, that's for sure. You go now, Woody with an Irish whip. Oh, and a huge spine buster. There's the W spine buster. One, two, only a two count as Adam McCarley somehow able to kick out. Speaking of resiliency. Watch yourself. Gonna have to close that, Woody. Come on, bro. Woody is shocked there. Well, Woody, just like myself, thought that would be over after that. Over first by Adam McCarley, who does a nice cross body. One, two, only a two count. There was a nice hustle by PD to get up there. Well, PD Kardashian, very impressive here as the referee, I must say. I mean, I gotta say, this guy's might want to take the easy road and get himself a career as a professional referee. I uh, can't seem to win any matches. I think that would be a good career move for him. There's uh, Adam McCarley stretching the rules there. Oh, and a kick right to the face. Woody dropping down his knees, going for a cover. Still only a two count there. Woody will just not stay down, and um, Adam McCarley is getting antsy here. He cannot understand why Woody will not stay down. For that cliffhanger right now, it hits him. There it is. It is over, ladies and gentlemen. One, two, oh, and Are somehow, you kidding me? Somehow Woody kicking out of the cliffhanger. And McCarley not happy with Petey Kardashian right now. They are arguing back and forth, shoving going on. McCarley better watch himself for a big one. Oh, and turning inside out. It was at the boxing glove right there. That was a fast count is what that was. Well, let me run through what just happened here. I mean, Adam McCauley was upset with the count by Petey after the cliffhanger. Started a little shoving match. Obviously frustrating Petey. Petey shoved him back. Woody the Clown with the boxing love uppercut just turned Adam McCauley inside out and upside down. And Petey Kardashian was one of the fastest three counts I've ever seen in all of professional wrestling. I think it was legal, though. He was the referee. And there you see him, the winner, Woody the Clown. I guess you can call that uh, Petey's Bromance Rules match. Yeah, you could call it that. McCarley upset right now. Well, obviously, that's another check in the loss column for one Adam McCarley. Oh, and right now, the main event for the evening. We're going to have the Fallen. Ryan Chambers and Jason Zero square off of, with El Hafo Blacko and El Acquisador of the Mexis. Well, we're in for a treat. It's not too often we see tag team matches here in CWR, but here we go. The Mex uh, half of the Mexis, El Acquisador and El Hafo Blacko. We don't see much of El Acquisador. Impressive matches that I've seen footage of down in Mexico facing off against some uh, very big names down there. Well, from from what I understand, this was all uh, La Nieve set this match up for uh, El Hafo Blacko and uh, El Acuisador. I mean, you see Corona Joe and La Nieve having considerable amount of su success here in CWR. You can't say so much for the other half of the Nexus. No, they don't get too much exposure. They've just been kind of uh, on the back burner compared to the rest of the Nexus. Right now, a huge matchup. Could you imagine if the Nexus beat the Fallen right now? A former CWR champion right there. Oh, that would just be huge for the Nexus as a whole group. And there you see this big bodyguard, his brother, Jason Zero. This should be interesting here. I mean, obviously, Brian Chambers not happy about losing the CWR title. You saw what he did to Big D last time on CWR TV. And as far as I know, Big D is not even here tonight for CWR TV after that assault. Very understandable. He just got blindsided. It was a, a chain right to the side of the skull by the hands of Brian Chambers. Chambers very particular about which corner he gets, making that Acquisador move to the little side. He was telling him to move. And Acquisador, uh, he does the right thing, I think, in uh, 
Oh! Punts that, that pinata. I don't think the fans nor the Mexus like that at all. I don't think Chambers really cares, to be honest. The change in attitude to this attitude of this man, Ryan Chambers, just amazes me. He was arguably the biggest face in all of CWR. He was the CWR champion. And then just out of the blue, the sudden change in attitude. I think the power kind of went to his head there. And right now we see these guys tying up. Chambers quickly turns it into a side headlock. El Hapo's going to have to do something to pick up. Oh, and a big right hand that just sends Hapo slam to the neck. And now just punishing El Hapo Blackwood right now, just laying those knees into the ribs. Chambers very aggressive here against the Mexus. The Mexus are in for a long night here against the Fallen, in my belief. Knees to the back of El Hapo Blacko, just squeezing all the air out of his lungs. Oh, and a European uppercut. Half of Black has got to do something more than this. He's destroyed right now. Ryan is super aggressive tonight. And probably uh, attributed to being pissed off about losing his CWR championship. Quick bash into Big D. Oh, and another European uppercut. Well, from my understanding, Ryan Chambers has invoked his rematch clause, and at the making of Kings, it's set to be Ryan Chambers versus Big D in the rematch for the CWR title. Did you see that there? Just making El Hapo Blacko tag in El Aquisador. Chambers wants a piece of oh, both of them. Just kicking those legs out and dropping the knee. Now he's choking him with the shin or the knee right across the neck of El Aquisador. Obviously Chambers trying to make a statement here at the Mexus's expense. Playing the stumps. Oh, bouncing off the ropes. I'm going old school with the call me leg drop. Could be over right here. No Aquisador kicking out. It's going to take a little more than that. I'm still curious what happened to the other member of the Mexus, Corona Joe, after he came out here and distracted Crossworthy earlier tonight. We haven't had any word about about any of those two or Crossworthy for that matter. And a single leg grab. By Chambers, Aquisador getting in the ropes, not breaking the, the, the hold, making one of the Shahan count. Interesting to know, we still haven't seen Jason Zero in this match so far. Ryan Chambers dishing out all the punishment. Oh, and a big shot. Well, Aquisador now is lifting up that shirt, adding insult to injury. I hope that Queef goes in shape. Oh! Chop to the bare skin, the bare chest of El Aquisador. Chambers is definitely sending a message here tonight as he whips that Aquisador off. He ducks under. Oh, it. Oh, all day. Head scissors onto Chambers. Just catching him off guard. There's the athleticism, but it's not enough. I think hitting that one offensive maneuver by Aquisador might have been a huge mistake. He should have just stayed on the mat. Now he's just getting murdered right now. Chambers saying you're not better than me. Because he's not one offensive maneuver. Chambers just taking back over now. This Chambers very egocentric. I mean, everything seems to have to be about him. If the spotlight, if the focus is not on him, he's going to make sure it's back on him. Yeah, that's a good job of that. Oh, and a big body slam. One, two, three, a two count. But he, he does have the in-ring ability. Oh, there's no doubting the in-ring ability of Ryan Chambers. It's just the, just the fact that he abused his... Obviously, the power went to his head as CWR champion, and now just... He's a flat-out bully in the ring. Let's just put it that way. Well, he just called for that Quisador to tag in El Hapo Blacko, who obliges in just some, uh, there was some amateur wrestling from Chambers. We don't really see that too often. But that Quisador, or excuse me, El Hapo has a background in amateur wrestling down in Mexico. And oh, jeez! Right they're turning him over for a pin. We've never seen that before. Oh, and the chamber music. Right to look like the, the chest area. Of El Hafo just catching him off guard. Again, Chambers not liking him getting in offensive maneuvers and just comes back super aggressive. And now we're going to see the big man, Jason Zero, do something right here. Irish whips him in. El Hafo reverses it. Uh, Zero moves out of the way. What's, what's Zero doing right now? Well, Zero's setting Chambers up on the top rope. What's he doing? 
Zero just hit Chambers with the drop to Zero. What is going on right now? Even you hear the referee, referee Carl Shan doesn't even know what's going on. Th throws El Hafo on top of his brother. And there's the three count, ladies and gentlemen. Are you, did the Mexus seriously just defeat the Fallen? <laughs> with, with the help of the Fallen, they sure did. Jason Zero betraying Ryan Chambers. But why? What is the reasoning behind J They were just together last week in the beatdown of Big D. And Chambers seems just as confused as anybody else here. What is going on right now? Oh, and that explains it, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, my God, it's Big D. Oh, an alarm clock. That explains everything. He wasn't happy with the beatdown. What happened to Zero? That's what I want to know. Well, you talk about head games. Big D just played the ultimate head game here tonight. The CWR champion taking exception to the beatdown he suffered last week. And that's all for tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Join us next time where we will see more great CWR action. And if you like the song for tonight, check iTunes for Rosella.